prove your worth, you dogs! Hey there guys, Outlaw Dolphin here and I'm bringing you Quest for Honor. This is going to be a heavy Highlander video, although not as heavy as the Gladiator video was. Um, yeah, just two fights with the Highlander here. We're attacking the Gauntlet, which is a... Um, it's becoming a fastly favourite map of mine, I guess. I can't think why, it's, it's just very odd. Oh, balls. Um, that puts, uh, actually, have they just killed themselves? I don't really want the objective. Dive, dive, dive. Got one. The interesting thing here is that, um, the enemy team is comprised mainly of four friends, I think. He really does have the advantage over me. Oh god, get out of that. Yep, he's got me. I do enjoy the Highlander, but it does have its downsides for me. Its speed is abysmal. And... It's probably my least favourite out of all the heroes I play, but I play it nevertheless. Because I think it was the Highlander that ultimately brought me back to For Honor. I watched a kill montage of it and someone was just going absolutely nuts with the executions and I was just like, yeah, let's give that a go. And I have, and it's stuck, mostly. But I think, oh, hello, hello, Lawbringer. Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh boy. Revenge up. Got one. Well, I hope my team is doing something more important. Uh huh. Don't expect anything fancy here, guys. We're going to die. Right now. There we go. Yeah, I think, um, although when Marching Fire comes out, because I, I want to try all four of that of, of the new faction, because I just think they're going to be absolutely awesome. Plus, learning their movesets will be interesting, especially for those people who are fighting against them. That's going to be the key point. It's not learning how to use them, it's learning how to fight them, because obviously new characters come out a lot of people are going to jump on the bandwagon and give them a try so that's going to be my point but I think I'm going to have to drop two characters in order to make it work and I'm thinking that might have to be the Highlander, I'm not sure who the other will be and all my team are dead Oh, God. <clears throat> Every time I'm walking into four of them. Well, you can tell by the symbols. They are a team, so that's going to make sense. It is kind of interesting to think that how many times I've, I've run into like a group of three on one team or a group of four has happened before, happened many times. They, it doesn't absolutely give them the advantage. Because most of the time, either they death ball or they just go for the kills. They don't play the objectives. So sure, they look great and all, but they somehow always end up losing the game. Oh god. Fall back. Ah. 
Uh, doesn't seem to be really that grouping up is helping us either. But like I said, they're not going after the objectives, they're just going after the people. Which can be just as bad. Got one. I'll take him. That's two. See if we can get the revive. Hold on. Come back here, Conqueror. For a heavy, a Conqueror sure does run fast. Let's clear out B. Because the one thing that's for certain is that I don't like losing to teams. I don't know why. Ah, oh, that bridge is out. You can see the Highlander. So long as... It just seems to be that so long as they're out on their own, they're not as good as what they could be in other situations. Damn it. Especially for a Reputation 9, that Highlander should have finished me off a lot quicker before his Conqueror buddy got there. At least... I mean, I don't know. I mean, Reputation is, for me, is not a sign of skill. It's not. It's a sign of longevity. Just because someone uses something for a very long time does not mean that they can be better than someone who picked it up yesterday. It's still the same move set. Take him out. I mean, there's nothing that his Highlander is doing that my Highlander hasn't done for the last two months. Drop the bridge. Missed him. Damn it. Concussion from the Lawbringer, or was that from the Conqueror? I couldn't quite tell. Were it not for that, I think I probably could have parried one and got the revenge. We have the advantage. You lost so a little. Easy. Small advantage. Oh, there it goes. Come on, guys. Let's not lose this. They are not better. There's two here. Your team is Freaking yay! You lost zone A. He's coming back. You captured zone C. Ken says here. Ken says a problem. Okay, where well we rallied. See, the Kensei is Reputation 1. He's the only one that bothers me because his moveset is completely... Uh, it bothers me, just a slight. Just my brain, literally. Because, like, an Orochi will attack from the direction that he's moving. A Kensei is the total opposite of that. Down, down you go. Oh god. Down. Thank you. 
Oh god damn it team. Am I the only one left? I am, aren't I? There we go. Is that the Lawbringer? Okay. Better luck next time on a different map. Yeah, just what I was saying about the Kense is it, it'll dodge to the left but will attack from the right, whereas an Orochi will dodge to the right and attack from the right. So it just boggles the mind a little bit. Especially when a Kensei's attacks are a little bit slower than a Rochi's. I find a Rochi more predictable than a Kensei. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with a clip from the Orochi and the Nabushi. And I will see you again. And we'll fight again, probably against the same people, with the Highlander once more. Okay guys, we're attacking the river fort this time. There's only three of them. Their fourth is a bot, so we don't know what happened there. Um, just want to continue about what I was talking about, like... How, like, playing someone who's a reputation 8 as, as to comparing fighting them when you're a reputation, uh, like, 1 or 2. You saw it with my... God, just... You, know, like, you saw it with my gladiator when I was... Uh, block that. One down. And now the Kensei to absolutely ruin me. He's too far away. There we go. Yeah, it was just when my gladiator was fighting... Um, it was in one of the clips in between the games, not the game itself. Like, I'm trying to get used to the move set on a gladiator, so I use certain things in a particular way. So I'm using something that I know will put my assassin up in advantage, like uh, like the trapping, like trapping the enemy's foot and then pinning them, and then moving into like the skewing attacks. But I was fighting a warden who was like reputation like 9,000, just for example. Like, you can tell he's 9,000 because he looks absolutely amazing. Like, he looks like he 
I don't know. You captured Zone C. He's just all green, which obviously is a colour that you don't get until like really late into the reputation stages, and here they are doing it again. Mm. Hi, Warden. I kind of want him. There we go. I'm going to be stopped from doing the actual execution. Thank you, Kensei. I know he wants to go into that shoulder barge with that one. Would be nice if my team could give me a hand. Absolutely nowhere to regain health. But yeah, it's just the fact that my war my gladiator who is using the same attacks over and over, I will admit that. Against the warden who you know, reputation should show it should show skill, but it doesn't. Um like a player with high reputation, I would fully expect him to figure out what it is I'm doing and find a counter for it. But he couldn't. I don't want to be here. No, you are not doing that. Whatever you were trying to do, I think he was probably going to do a, a morale boost. That's what it looked like. So yeah, like my... like. It wasn't even a reputation one gladiator then. It is now, it wasn't then, and I'd only been using the gladiator for a day. And it was bothering a warden who had probably been a cat like someone who has been playing a warden for since release. Because that's what it looked like. Reputation should show skill, it doesn't. It just shows longevity and how long someone has been playing a character for. Damn it. I'm starting to read that he doesn't really do the unblockable there, but it doesn't help. Damn it. Damn it. I've not got a single kill on the Kensei. I need something a bit faster. If it was my Warden or my Orochi, maybe. Kensei is just a, they're just a thorn in my side. I mean, there are many games that have the system that show, like, the reputation and stuff like that. Many, many, uh, like, Rocket League has it as well. It has this, like, Rocketeer, Legends, Pro system that levels up every time they complete a game. You and that, yeah, sure, that's one thing. But when, like, even, I, even I'm a legend on that game, and I reached Diamond Rank in the last season... But I maintain, I'm, I'm, hi there. Thank you, come again. You know, and, oh, Kensei. I got distracted there. Talking too much. But yeah, it's just the idea that it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Like, like, really, the one thing that's more important is the look of their damn car. In Rocket League, at least. If they look cool, then they're probably good. But it's not the case in Rocket League or For Honor. And, that, like, someone who's picked up the game can be better at it than someone who's been playing it for 5,000 hours. That is the truth. That is the absolute truth. Can happen. Sure, it's not always going to happen, but it can. I'll give him his moment of silence. Oh, fine. I'll take you on, Lawbringer. I put them all on the floor. Oh, Centurion. 
I do like defending with the Highlander. Revenge is good for it, but is predictable. If you're a Highlander, you're very rarely going to get a one-on-one, -on -one. and in a one-on-one, -on -one, you have the damage advantage. So you're not really going to reach revenge mode at any point in that game uh, in a 1v1. You're only going to get it in a 1v2 or 1v3, but then they they know that. They know you're going to go for the revenge. And the attacks are slow. There's nothing there's nothing really escaping that. Highlanders' attacks are slow. Uh, I want to get down that... Oh, he dead. He's very dead. The Orochi took him into the cupboard and he died. Let's get... Let me guess. Oh, no. It's the Centurion. Ah, oh, he left. No. He's defending well. There we go. Victory. That's victory for the Highlander. That's an average performance from my Highlander, there really is. Okay, so their buddy managed to jump back into the game even though he got kicked before it. Okay, guys, so Highlander's nearly reputation 2. Don't know how that's come about before Valkyrie <laughs> or Nabushi. That's odd because I use the two. I use those two more often. Apparently, that's not the case. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for that one. Have a nice day, and I will see you for the next one. Oh, just one thing is that there probably will not be a video for Wednesday because I'm working on a script for a discussion video. It will probably come out next week. And there's no event going on at the moment, so I don't foresee anything coming out on Wednesday. Just Monday and Friday for this week. Okay, guys. Have a nice day. Prove your worth, you dogs!